And this is Brother Chris LaSala here with Brother Ben Robertson. In this video, we are going to be analyzing the demonic teachings of the clowneral Wally Carlson. Here he is teaching people that meat has blood in it, store-bought meat that comes in the packages, and that if you eat it, you will get the spirit of a vampire because the Bible commands us to abstain from blood. Here we go. But this all I'm saying, I want to give this quick little word to warn believers. Abstain from blood. Food offered up to idols. Sexual immorality. Huh? And, and abstaining from blood should not be an issue. If you like your steak like sizzled for 30 seconds on both sides and you can just eat it raw, you got a problem anyway. I've seen cats. Not there. See what I'm saying? Chris, right, right off the bat, anyone who's listening, you got to realize you can't cook blood out of me. What does he think happens? The the blood just goes up in the sky or something like that. If you if you cook blood, it's it's still blood, you know. Like black pudding in the UK, when you cook black pudding, which is mainly blood. It remains as blood. Right. And then later you'll see him trying to cook the blood out and then dip in his steak in the juice that even fell out. So even if he was under a delusion and he thought that that, that was blood, he's still dipping his steak in it. You know? Hey, well, yeah. we got some. You gotta chill out. Because that'll induce a vampire spirit on you. You get the taste. Let's just watch it through this time because it's going to replay, you know. The blood. I just want to show people we're not like cutting up his video like this is really what he's teaching and the, you know Listen, ain't nobody commanding you to get rid of no pork chops. If you want to ham it, go ham. You know what I'm saying? But the blood, I'm telling you, you gotta you can't have the blood. You gotta cook it out. It's a spiritual significance. Sorry, I got to stop it. I'm breaking my own rule. So he said right there, nobody's commanding you to not eat pork. First off, I'd like to point out he's constantly making it like pork is filthy and you're basically stupid if you eat it. So he might not be com commanding you, but he's compelling you to live as the Jews, basically, which the Bible says is, is demon doctrine, right? So, and it right. also says commanding people to abstain from meat is demon doctrine. He would say he isn't doing that, but yet he's commanding people to abstain from rare meat, basically. So he is commanding yep. them to abstain from meat, basically. But also, he said here, I'm not commanding you to put down the pork, but you can't have the blood. You have to cook it out. So he's literally commanding them to not eat rare steak when he doesn't even realize there's not blood in the steak to begin with, even when they bring it home in the package, on completely uncooked, completely raw, there should be no blood in it whatsoever, right? Right, right. So he got, up, just... he got up here with no basic knowledge of, of if there's blood in meat, if there's not blood in meat, whatever. Right, and, and just to add... This, even the Jews consider uh, rare meat kosher, you know? Right. Like they, they, they consider that not blood as well. So it's clear. Right. I'm telling you. Abstain from blood. Cook your steak. Huh? Abstain from foods polluted by IO. Cooking your steak is the way you abide by that scripture to abstain from blood. Right. As if that's not in context with idol, with offering like things onto idols, strangled meats that were violently killed in sacrifice, right? So when it says abstain from blood, it's literally telling you stay away from the blood that's involved with these idol sacrifices where, where the people that are uh, sacrificing onto these idols are taking a sip of the blood that they're spilling to them. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with cooked meat. Or uncooked meat. Strangled meats, 
and fornication, sexual immorality. These four things were wild on you. How come I never hear pastors talking about this? I know what they I know what they all the jiggle up. Jiggle up and I'm going to do it. 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 Okay, the red you see in the meat is actually not blood, but mostly fat, water, and myoglobin. This is a protein that causes the red coloring in meat, even when served rare. A quality of cut meat that has been properly cleaned and drained should have hardly any blood in it. And that's what they're saying, even when served rare, close to raw. To cook demons out of you like me. To cook demons. So right here, while he's talking uh, about one, another one of his bogus, fake revelations that God gave him, and God's giving him the revelation that you must burn out demons like you must burn blood out of your steak when you bring it home from the, you know, the food store. Right, when that's literally impossible. When you, when you put blood in the oven, it doesn't disappear, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so God must not know what's going on with this revelation, I guess. <laughs> Here we go, another mighty mystery by the clowneral. <laughs> to cook demons out of you like meat cooks blood out of it in the oven. Deep message, hope it blesses you. That was deep. To cook demons out of you like meat cooks blood out of it in the oven. Deep message, hope it blesses you. You know what would bless them, clowneral? If you told them to repent and go get the demons cast out, that, that'd be nice. Not right. that you don't need to talk about red meat. It doesn't need to be a mystery. Turn from your sin, buddy. Re submit for prayer. Get set free. Dr cast out devils. That's what the Bible says. So, Amen. So right here, Ignoramus and his wife teach the body of Christ that store-bought meat has blood in it, and they try to appear holy while they act as if they can incinerate imaginary blood into non-existence in their oven of righteousness. <laughs> Here we go. This meat, raw, is dangerous to eat, right? It, it, you gotta, you gotta get the blood out of it. it, it you gotta, you gotta get the blood out of it. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? About to get it cracking. Ah! Okay, hold on. Thank you, Jesus. I just want y'all to see the sizzling. Nothing like screaming like little John before you, like, rip your meat out of your oven. <laughs> y'all see that sizzling action? We call the well-cooked piece of meat. We don't do the blood up in this house. We don't appreciate. We, we, don't, we don't get down like that. We don't do the blood up in this house. We don't appreciate. We, we don't we don't get down like that. They don't get Count Clownula doesn't get down like that, people. <laughs> nope. But this all I'm saying, I want to give this quick little word to warn believers. Abstain from blood. Food offered up to idols. Sexual immorality. Huh? And and abstaining from blood should not be an issue. You like your steak like sizzled for 30 seconds on both sides and you can just eat it raw. You got a problem anyways. So think about this. If you do it well done, if he thinks that red juice is actually blood, that means no matter how much he cooks it, you're getting somewhat of a spirit of a vampire. So unless you literally char it into dust and burn every single, like, to where it's, like, literally, like, when you put your oven on clean and you get that, like, 
charred white powder at the bottom of the thing. Unless you do that, you're getting somewhat of a spirit of a vampire by the way he teaches. So if someone's sitting in his church listening to this foolish garbage, unless they burn their stake into non-existence, what are they... You know, you got to live a paranoid life. Oh, Wally told me I'm going to get the spirit of a vampire. I'm going to become <laughs> Count Dracula if I don't cook the piss out of this meat. Right. And, and abstaining from blood should not be an issue. You like your steak, like, sizzled for 30 seconds on both sides and you just eat it raw. You got a problem anyway. I've seen cats. Huh? <laughs> Not there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Well, we got some. You better <laughs> chill out. Because that'll induce a vampire spirit on you. You get to taste the blood. Because that'll induce a vampire spirit on you. You get to taste the blood. Because that'll induce a vampire spirit on you. You get to taste the blood. I am willing to get their coke out the back. I am willing to get their coke out the back. I am willing to get her to cook out the you huh? I'm willing to get her to cook the time. We have been talking about we've been buying him turkey bacon. Listen. See, she's like, I'm willing. I don't know if that's a man or a woman. I can't really tell. But it sounds like a woman. And she's like, I'm willing to get rid of the pork, but not eat well done steak. That shows that he's always off camera telling them pork's no good compelling Gentiles right. to live as Jews. This guy wants to pretend like he's not com like preaching the law onto Gentiles, but we all know he is. He's just being slick about it, where he just doesn't come out and command it. But he's basically an undercover Hebrew Israelite in all actuality. Absolutely. And I've heard him go in into books like Isaiah like Isaiah 66, where it talks about people eating swine as, a, as if it's a negative thing. And right. he, even though he'll say, I'm not commanding you, commanding you to not eat pork, he'll kind of hint that it could be dangerous. Or right. you, you should really reconsider it, you know? Yeah. It's like wink, wink, for those of us who are in my cult, no pork. But on YouTube, where someone's going to get a hold of my teaching and decimate me, I'm just going to keep it under wraps. Right. Ain't nobody commanding you to get rid of no pork chops. If you want to ham it, go ham. You know what I'm saying? But the blood, I'm telling you, you, gotta, you can't have the blood. You got to cook it out. It's a spiritual significance. I'm telling you. But the blood, I'm telling you, you, gotta, you can't have the blood. You got to cook it out. It's a spiritual significance. So you'll be spiritually defiled if you eat rare steak. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on the chicken left. <laughs> Abstain from blood. Cook your steak. Huh? Abstain from blood. Cook your steak. Huh? <laughs> Abstain from blood. Cook your steak. Huh? 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 All right, here we have the uh, imbecile teaching foolish demonic doctrines um, with confidence, with boldness, which is why it's so dangerous. Because ignorant people that are watching this, they look at him and he barks and he talks with authority, but he's got the, the brain of an inchworm and he doesn't belong teaching people this. So this right. is why this needs to be exposed, people. This is a mockery. This, what he's saying is so stupid that if you actually think this is like overreacting to mock this, you yourself are a joke, unfortunately. Saints, Elijah mocked the false prophets. I'm not happy with these pastors because it's not a little mistake. They're sending people to hell. Yes, I don't like them. But I love them. Would you, do you like them? Do you like these false preachers and liars sending people to hell? You cool with them? The reason they're continuing in boldness, because ain't nobody doing this. You got anything else to say about this guy? 
Don't listen to him. He's he's putting fear into you for no reason. Anyone that's watching this guy. Amen. And that's that and he knows that drives views. Legalistic things, fear mongering, making people do outward things that is not involving with their own refinement or casting down imaginations or denying the flesh, right? Always right. like, oh, you'll be more spiritual if you if you eat this or that. Or if you don't do this or that, the touch not, taste not, handle not scripture applies to this guy. Big time. Okay? Right. All right, guys. Have a good night. Be blessed in Jesus' name. And if you're following this guy, repent. You're under a strong delusion. Be blessed. God bless. Okay. <laughs> Let me see your mean face. Mean face. Yeah, kill him. That's your mean face? Show me your mean face. Oh, that's mean. Mean.